Hello and welcome back to another Omni Heroes video. Um, in this video, no face cam today, just because I'm still pretty sick. Um, I'm just going to go through Corrupted Narissa now. Um, I've done a couple of attempts at this already uh, without certain units, and I'll go through that in a sec. Uh, but first, specializing in AoE attacks, each strike increases its attack, but it can still be affected by the Phantom Illusion and Soul Devourer effect. Uh, all enemies uh, or attacks all enemies dealing 50% damage also applies one stack of 100% attack boost on itself for 99 rounds. This effect can be stackable. Uh, at the start of battle, increases the boss's damage reduction by 25%. Uh, now the boss itself, so this is Corrupted Narissa, deals 8% damage to all enemies two times at cast in round one. So a lot of damage going through uh, and deals 200% damage to one random enemy uh, target. Additionally, it applies 10 stacks of 20% attack boost to its stealth and one minion for five rounds. This effect can be stackable as well. 50% uh, damage based on its max HP to one random enemy target, and then a single instance of damage received will not exceed 1% of its max HP. Very powerful effect and very difficult to overcome. Uh, so you've got to hit it effectively 100 times. Um, fortunately, there doesn't seem to be too much healing in this. Now, increase its defense by 1000%. So let's jump in uh, and let's see. So this is the team build that I went for previously. Um, didn't do altogether too much damage, but there was a secret tactic uh, in order to beat this stage, and it was Atropos. So let's uh, just check the relics here. Um, we can take you out, and we can pop in Splash Axe as well. Um, and I think this should be fine. What I would suggest, keeping Atrops in the middle, using a Soul Eater's effect, you will do, your team will do absolutely massive damage. So let's just see how effective this is. Now if you do have a copy of Hades, I would suggest we're in Hades in the same spot as Atrops, just because he can steal one every four rounds, and you've got 30 rounds. So here, um, as you can see, uh, Atrops doing much, much more damage than the rest of the team here, because she has the Soul Eater effect applied. We do get a lot of holy shield stacks, uh, and as long as Gwyn is alive, uh, we won't die. So as you can see here, you'll see Gwyn kick off, and he will do massive damage, as will Arctina. Do you see why I think Atrops and Soul Eaters is the way forward? Yeah, so really powerful. I think it's all dependent on RNG. Um, that for me, just seeing um, Arctina uh, do that type of damage to the enemies here, Oh, absolutely ridiculous um, again unfortunately we don't have the revival effect uh, but it is what it is so let's uh, jump in again and let's just see how well we do here with Atrops uh, in this center slot again you could probably take out um, Lancelot here uh, and replace Lancelot with another DD unit um, for this team but we'll just see so we don't get the uh, shield buff here unfortunately uh, and that is because we don't have a front unit slot. So we'll just have to hopefully bear all of these attacks. Now if you have Banner, uh, Banner can be a very powerful effect. So we'll see Lancelot do absolutely massive damage here. So yeah, um, took, <laughs> took a lot of them out. So if we do get the splash effect here. And uh, units are back, so our back line will not die. This team is mental doing absolutely massive damage so we get powered up again and we'll see uh, Makaria not affected by the Soul Eater uh, uh, sorry by uh, Atrop's ability but we do get that splash damage here and now Nerissa is defenseless this team setup by far is the best one for the job the only other setup that I think potentially could work uh, is again uh, the um, what do you call it, uh, is potentially the uh, Enigma synergy or specifically Cleopatra. Now as you can see we need to hit this boss a hundred times in order for it to work successfully. Um, I think that we'll be absolutely fine um, with this team set up here. Again I've done many many previous attempts, in fact I may even um, add in the previous attempts here. Uh, but yeah, uh, this this team's uh, setup here, having Atrops in that middle slot, you are going to do absolutely massive damage to all of the enemy units around, and it's just a matter of time uh, dealing with those enemies. So I think 
potentially what we can do because this Narissa does not lose a lot of uh, HP um, and I don't think her minions come back so irrespective of how much damage so I mean Lancelot Gwyn doing absolutely massive damage here um, but again we just need to hit her a hundred times uh, that's what the problem is that's what a lot of people face um, and the damage reduction given by the uh, enemy minions um, again you need to make sure that those minions go down as quickly as possible the best way to do that um, would be through having atrops in this back slot so let's um, go ahead and skip and we were nearly there we were very close with that one so I think yeah potentially um, like like I said just having a uh, void spike vipers uh, down as quickly as possible let's try a different setup so we've seen that that team can win it's just getting that damage reduction um, so hold on uh, if we go back and we check out boss's abilities it's this ability right here single instance damage received will not exceed one percent of its max hp so you really need um, units which are going to do multi instance damage on their attacks uh, like arcadina uh, like gwyn um, then the soul eater synergy potentially lee as well would be a good fit uh, if you do have copies of lee uh, you can build up with lee um, you can have the corrode damage from bastet in here you know just plenty of ways to do it so let's uh, take these out and then let's pop in uh, let's go for Aphrodite Aphrodite a lot of people have at one or two stars probably should be more um, but again um, you can get Aphrodite through various different methods free to play um, within the the setup here and I just want to show this tactic off so let's add in uh, let's take Wu out in fact and let's go with um, Althea Althea is a part of the um, Althea is a part of the uh, most powerful Avengers team, so you really should be running Althea. And then we'll have Talonas. Um, we'll pop in Talos as well, just for the additional damage. We want these two to survive for as long as possible. Um, we'll take you out, and then we'll pop in um, Avengers. Uh, no, because we get an additional 500% here. So that's fine. We'll add in the 500% and we'll see how well this team handles it. Now again, you do need um, Aphrodite. Aphrodite again can be obtained throughout the course or can have been obtained throughout the course of the season. Uh, so long as you're buying those shards within the relic slot as well. So what we want to do is we want to <coughs> take down these, uh, uh, these uh, monsters. So we do need stuff to die. So potentially our Ryan here should have been on the front. But again, we're not dealing too much damage, but we can steal. So there you go. We have stolen an enemy there. So as you can see, that is one way to go about this. Having this Enigma synergy, again, it doesn't... It's, it's a trash synergy. It really is. It really is absolutely horrible, and I don't think it's the way to win. Uh, but again... able to steal enemies here unfortunately not doing too much damage to the enemies so i think we can go ahead and skip that yeah unfortunate it is a loss but i do think that the soul eater synergy is the most powerful synergy so we'll pop in massima does single target damage that's a pain um there we go so lancelot uh and let's swap you around Let's swap these two. Um, take you out. Pop. Uh, where have you gone? And there you are. So I'll pop you in. Uh, even potentially taking out um, the healing here. Uh, and then we pop in this one. So increase the attack of all Valianters by 300%. That will increase our traps. 
Sorry about that, I just had to uh, cut a little bit out. Um, again, like I was saying, I think this is the way to go. So let's jump in and let's just see how much damage we're actually doing. Um, and then we'll have a look at the stats as well afterwards. So we've effectively got a an 800% attack increase uh, for Atrops specifically. There we go. There we go, we get our uh, two frontline units back as well. So I think over the course of the next... Oh, spot on. Yeah, over the course of the next couple of rounds, I think we're going to do absolutely massive damage to these guys. Especially with that corrode. Shame. Yeah, that corrode just did absolutely massive damage. Let's get our stacks of holy shield back. And unfortunately, Makaria did go down. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy damage. It is just that um, we need to do effectively 100 hits uh, to this boss in order to kill her. So yeah, we were close, closer that time. Oh crap. Right, okay. Pardon my French. Let's try this again. Right. Maybe it was just luck. Let's change you round. I can't wait to join the Okay, that was by accident. So it was Makaria. Makaria is the key. Um, let me just go ahead and check stats. So there you go. Um, you have Atrops in the center uh, of the Soul Eater's Synergy. That is going to be um, your key to getting through this event. It was by accident. Didn't see it all. Um, but I think I will go ahead and share that with my guild. Uh, and then the actual match will be put up uh, later on as well. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, I do hope you have a fantastic day and I hope this really helped um, in the attempts to, um, uh, I hope this really helped uh, for you. So let me know what you think. Um, thanks for watching. You have a great day.